I recently came across a tool called Crispy AI, which promises to solve one of the biggest challenges in product design, turning ideas into functional, shareable prototypes. It claims to make this faster and easier by using AI to take you from concept to production-ready prototypes in minutes. So in this video, I'm going to explore the tool with you, walk through its feature and in a step-by-step -step tutorial manner and share my honest thoughts on how good it is. Let's jump right in. Hey, Shivam here. You can check out this tool from the discount link in the description below. After signing up, we are with a simple dashboard. To create a project, we upload PRD, product requirements document, or simply type out project description. From there, the AI takes over and generates prototype screens for us right away. Let's use one of these templates for now so we can see how this is the right way of doing it. Also, we can choose if we want to create just mobile, web, or both versions. What I realized during my first use is that the onboarding process is straightforward, but it could benefit from offering more default templates for additional variety. It also takes a couple of minutes to generate. Now we are at the final step. We can refine the project and double check everything. After that, we can click on generate and it will take a couple of minutes to generate all the wireframe and we can make some popcorn till then. I see that it was stuck at this screen, so I changed my browser from Firefox to Chrome and it worked. A lot of apps and websites doesn't work well on Firefox. The project is generated and we get a range of AI-powered layouts and prototypes to work with. It has generated all the screens that we would need to make this project and it has been generating for both mobile and web version. We can do a lot of things and adjust everything like move elements and customize layouts. And one cool feature here is live prototyping, which lets us click through the screens and test workflows within seconds. I enjoyed working with live prototyping features. I can press the play button to start testing. This made the process so much smooth and intuitive. Another big win for Crispy is its collaboration functionality. I can add team members directly to the project, share designs with stakeholders and collect real-time feedback. And they can test the design via the link without even have to create an account. We even get the ability to comment on a specific screen for more targeted feedback. This kind of centralized communication helps cut down the back and forth emails and keeps everything on the same page. It's built well for small and medium sized teams, but I did feel integrations with tools like Jira or Slack could make this even better for larger businesses. Once we have finalized our design, we can export prototypes with clean and production ready code, which is impressive for an AI tool. We get two options. One is that we can export vectors to Figma, which is in beta I tried it but it didn't work for me and second we have the full react code option coming soon what's really unique is that we have white label functionality depending on the plan it allows us to brand the prototype with our own company logo or our client's branding, which is super useful if you are a freelancer or running an agency. On top of prototyping and collaboration, the Crispy AI features wireframing tools, real-time feedback loops, and iterative design processes. These features makes it easy to refine ideas quickly without switching between platforms. Now let's talk about the pricing and how the credit system works. Crispy is available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal starting at $99 for the tier 1 plan, which gives us 300 credits per month. Higher tier plans goes up to $749 which provides more credits per month. So what are these credits and how do they work? Every action from generating a project to creating designs and iterations uses credit. From my experience creating a single project took around 198 credits out of 300. I did some iterations too so that was 198 credits. One thing I do want to highlight is that while the credit system is there which is fair and transparent but the number of credits a project uses might catch off guard if you're working on something complex. For example, I realized that in just one tutorial, I used up roughly two thirds of my whole credit. So if you are planning a long term use, then the higher tier might be better value overall. In conclusion, I really enjoyed how easy it was to use and the time it saved me with its AI generated prototypes. Features like live prototyping, feedback collection and code exports, which we might see soon, are excellent tools. That said, Crispy isn't a full blown designer tools just yet. If you need heavy animations or intricate visuals, you might still rely on tools like Figma alongside 
inside it. But at this price point, it's a very good deal if you are a freelancer or team looking for faster prototyping and collaboration. If you are interested, I have included the AppSumo deal link in the description below. Let me know your thoughts about this tool in the comments as well. Now, if you are looking for a way to clean your Mac, then this will help. And if you want to run Windows on your Apple Silicon Macs, then there you go. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.